Welcome back to the Joe Skill Modeling. This is part 4 of the Hatchet HMS Hood Scale 1 to 200. In part 3, I started on the turrets and I will be carrying that on in part 4, finishing off the main structures. So let's jump into this. And off with part 50. As you can see, uh, there's only two uh, parts here the main turret and uh, a bit of sprue. Just uh, looking at the instructions, and um, it's like the other parts actually, there's not much to say. It's the um, same as the other turrets that are built in part 3. So, this is getting built the same as the other turrets in part 3. Um, I'll, I'll skip most of this because um, if you've already watched part 3, there's no point in watching it again. I will keep in, in, in for any differences as I go along. What I'm pointing out here is I had a little bit of gap in this, you can just make it out there. Um, I had to um, hold it quite tightly to solve that. In the end I didn't need any filler, but it's the only one that did this. This uh, part, uh, turret number two I think it is, has a different um, areas for the photo edge part. I'm having to drill a small hole on top of the turret here to receive them. Also there's a little bit of maintenance work, there's um, three, uh, two little pins, location pins that have to come off this turret. Each turret is slightly different in this regard. And once I take them off, it's just a case of a little bit of sanding just to get them uh, flush with the actual unit. For the back of the turret, these two uh, little triangular pieces go on. Uh, they go on at the bottom and they just go and flush it against the um, hard edge. What they're for, I'm not sure. Um, in the instruction, it says something about um, making sure they're uh, nice and flush uh, so they fit a door, but I haven't came to that part yet. The ladder on this one is uh, at the back of the turret. It uh, appears slightly longer than the side um, ladders. Again, they were built, bent by using my um, bending tool. I'm now taking the part from turret number two, which um, I built up in the previous uh, video. This is why you have to keep them separate and um, keep them all like those specific parts going to each um, turret. Even though the, the sight mechanism, which I'm placed on here, they're all fairly standard, but it's wise just to keep them separate. Now, the little 4H part that goes on into this middle part here, well, as I cut it off, I it pinged away. I forgot to place a bit of tape on it. It's a tiny part, so what I've done is I've taken a bit of copper wiring and uh, placed it into the mould. And when that sets, I'll bend it over into the position and cut down uh, the excess, so it's just left with a, a little nub of copper. On to issue number 51, and this issue is for making up the um, the sight locators on, on the gun. Like the previous ones, uh, they're all made up in a similar way. As I was making it up, I decided to use my Tamiya's extra thin cement here uh, to have a little bit more control so I'm not having too much excess cement going on the part. Moving on to issue 52, and this is turret number 4. And um, as you can see, the layout is exactly the same apart from uh, some of the photo edge part. For the rear of this one, there's uh, two little bars that go in uh, instead of the corner units or the ladder. The four edge part locations are slightly different and more detailed on this turret as well. First of all, I'm drilling in two holes, one on each side of the turret. I'm then placing on the two um, vertical bars um, that I spoke of when I first started. Now these just hook on to the little nubs of plastic at the back here that I'd taken off uh, on the other turret. So they're all more, all the turrets are molded the same way and um, I just have to modify them as I go along. Now for the photo edge parts, and I'm leaving a bit of tape on here. I should have done that with the other one and I wouldn't have lost my part. This is how I uh, detach very small um, parts of sprues, whether it be photo edge or otherwise. Um, I'm just using my, my knife here to take the part off. It's, it just saves the part from um, flying everywhere when you take it off or if it pings when you when the, the knife just releases the part. So once it's cut, uh, I just pull back the tape and the part is actually stuck to the tape. 
and then I simply take the parts off the tape and place them uh, into the model. They are tiny little hand clips uh, that go onto each side. If I just hold up to the camera you may get a better view of it. You can just about make them out there. So next it is uh, for the ladders. This uh, ladder goes at the front and as you can see I'm using my bending tool just to bend the, the runs and as I said it gets placed in the front between where the two barrels will be going. I should have pointed out actually this is not turret number four this is turret number three um, I just got slightly mixed up there but that's the gun size on now so it's on to the next one. Issue 53 is dealing with the gun sights and uh, again these are all made up uh, the same way that I did in, in part three of this uh, build log. As I said there's no point in showing you me building it because I've already done it in part three um, and so it's on to issue 54 and this is turret number four for real this time. So as you can see the uh, parts are supplied um, same as the other parts. Uh, the four etch are slightly different uh, as well. This one has three uh, foot edge parts at the front so it's uh, three small holes um, right on the um, edge well about uh, two millimeters deep in, from the edge and once the holes are drilled it's time to cut off the foot edge parts for it. As you can see I've already put my tape on. Even though I've got the tape on you still have to be very careful cutting these off because the parts are so small. Uh, if you've ever uh, done photo edge parts, some of them can be tiny. Um, just persevere. You, you will get better as you go along like anything. And now it's time to put these parts in. There are three little columns uh, that go in the front of the turret. What they're for, I have again no idea. Um, it doesn't give them a name or anything in the instruction booklet. But I'll just zoom in slightly there so you can see the last one, uh, one going in. Now it feels simple to go in, it's just that they were so small uh, that it's easy to, to lose them in the process. And once the gun sight's on, this will complete the um, four turrets. Uh, also, you've still got the mount, mounts to build up. So if you haven't done so already, check out the channel, particularly um, for this build and uh, part three of the build. And I'll show you all the different processes that I used to build up the parts of the turret that you didn't see. And it goes without saying, have a look at my other builds as well. This will bring part 4 to a close. So if you subscribe to the channel, you'll be notified of the re rest of the builds in this project, of course, or my other future builds as well. Hit that like button, and of course, leave a comment. But for now... Thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.